Hi-ho, internet people. Jan Wellings here to show you all the latest and greatest in DIY fashion and home furnishings. Today, we are going to show you a demo of one of my favorites, denim cutoffs. Denim is all the rage with young, hip millennials robbing their parents' closets for all that denim -y goodness. From jackets to underwear, you youngsters just can't get enough of a trend that was, until recently, reserved for dads and serial killers. <laughs> Anywho, it's what the kids want, so why not give them to them? And with spring right around the corner, you can bust out all those summer clothes and show off your nice hairy legs in those new cutoffs. Cutoffs are an easy way to take your old clothes and repurpose them to look terrible for people that actually need them. <laughs> All you need is a pair of jeans, just like this, and um, a nice sturdy pair of scissors. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have a pair of scissors as they're currently being used as Exhibit C in order to incriminate me at killing my husband. <laughs> Fortunately, if you don't have any scissors, um, most kitchen knives or an X-Acto blade should do the trick. Now that we have our materials, it's time to get to work. First, what you want to do is uh, measure off where you want to cut your pants off. I recommend um, putting them on and uh, marking where you want to cut them with a felt tip marker or pen. Um, to save time, I'm going to pretend that these jeans are my husband and start cutting! Playing with knives is nothing to kid about, you know? Sometimes we make mistakes. We're only human. Soft, fleshy humans that burst like water balloons when they're stabbed or poked at. <laughs> but anywho, it's okay, you know, it's just a scratch. I've seen to have nicked myself. Nothing a little Neosporin won't fix. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to get back to cutting! Voila! Now you've got your own pair of trendy cutoffs that you can wear on that beautiful spring stroll through the park. There seem to have been a few snags in the DIY process, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. As long as you remember that you are a beautiful, Newly single human being, you can conquer anything the world throws at you, including this DIY project. So thank you, and I'll see you again next time on DIY Jan's Fashion and Home Furnishings. Bye bye now. Well, hello there, people in that little series of tubes we call the internet. My name is Jan Wellings, and while all you young post Y2K millennials sit in your rooms watching me teach you how to make the latest and greatest in DIY fashion and furnishings, I'm serving 35 years in the Massachusetts Maximum Security Penitentiary for allegedly murdering my uh, ex-husband Earl Wellings. Make you rotten hell. Hey, get me down in there. Make me, you punk ass pussy bitch. Anything, as I was saying, I'm here to show you how to make your draft wardrobe into a fab wardrobe. Now, originally, I was going to teach you how to make the favorite article of clothing of uh, the late Earl Wellings, the sweater vest. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring, you know, wool into the joint, so um, I do have this plastic bag that um, I stored up my anus to traffic in drugs in exchange for cigarettes and oral sexual favors. The first rule of um, this trendy DIY generation is to reduce, reuse, recycle, and deny any evidence connecting me back to the scene of that heinous crime. So that's why I'm using this eye-catching plastic bag. So, as you probably know, I'm not allowed to have any pointed or sharp objects in my cell with me, but that's not a problem because I've had all that time to work on my muscles. See, so we're going to start by tearing this bag apart as if it were the sturdy and breakable bones of a middle-aged man's ribcage. Hey, what'd I tell you? Keep down in there. Eat shit and die, pig! Alright, crazy lady, you just earned some time in the hole. <laughs> 